So here is the tortoise we are going to be surprising Paul with. He has no clue. Blake gave it to Paul to give to me. And Paul has seen him before and he was very, very small when he gave me him. So now he's outgrowing this little enclosure right here. So we're gonna be giving him something way better outdoors and he'll love it. So yeah, I'm gonna bring him to Paul's. I'm gonna set up a whole enclosure and then Paul should be getting home later today to see his new tortoise. Got the tortoise in the truck. Let's have the balls. But before we head to Paul's, I'm gonna get some of this bamboo and pick up some things to make the tortoise enclosure. We'll also pick up some plants and stuff. This is just good for the outside of the enclosure. We'll also pick up one of these big hibiscus plants just for shade for the tortoise. They actually love to eat these flowers, so that will be really good for him. And then I think that's pretty much all we need because I'll have the grass to eat and feed on. And then we got the plant. And then for the outside, we got this little bamboo to make like a little enclosure for him. Also gonna pick up one of these little pots and I'm gonna try to make like a little cave for him out of this because it's much bigger than the wood log that he had in before. So I plan on just getting this and then cutting like a little tunnel for him and then you can go in there and get some shade. And last but not least, before we head to Paul's house to build this enclosure, we're gonna pick up some little cactuses. So get like one of these just to add some like decoration to it along with they'll grow and he'll be able to eat them. And we'll get one of these. That'll look really cool. Oh, one more, one more. All right, we're all good. All the cap is gone. Let's head to pause now. Okay, so we got the outline all set up here and it's kind of a circle. There was a lot of like pavement and stuff, so I couldn't nail it all the way down because I want it like four inches into the ground so he can't dig under or anything like that. And he's pretty small, so I mean, I don't think he's going to be digging any crazy holes. But right now, we got where's our shovel at? Where'd our shovel go? I know I brought out a. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> so right now, we're gonna plant this, and I'm thinking we're gonna plant it like right in that corner there, so we can go under and have some shade. All right, we're making progress here. Got the hole, just need a little deeper, and we're gonna put our plant right in there. So our plant is now in. Um, that was a pain. And now we got these little cactuses. And I think I'm just gonna like plant them around, or I might save them, let them grow a little, and then once they get big enough, then we'll put them in. I'm just gonna cut out like a little tunnel so he's able to go in here when it, it's too hot out, or if he wants to just escape something, just go right in here. Just like that. And now we'll set that up like right over here. So he can go in there and he has a little, a little enclosure now. This is the water dish. I'm gonna put this in the shade right here and he'll be able to like go in there. If he wants to like get some water, he can sit in it because tortoises like once a week you're supposed to soak them. So this is deep enough to where he can go and soak himself if he wants to. Got this little, his old little log. So I'll put that in there too, just in case he wants to go in there. And this grass, he'll actually be able to eat this grass. So that's good. Um, what else? These flowers right here he'll be able to eat. So all this stuff is very good for him. When I got him, I kid you not, he was this big when I got him. It's been about five, five months, maybe not even. And he's already this big. And these things get massive. So now it's time to add him to his new home. See how he likes it. Look at him. He's like, holy crap, look what he upgraded from. From a little black container like this to a mansion. <laughs> That's awesome. So the tortoise enclosure is finally complete. We got our little sakata in here somewhere. Oh, here he is, right there. Paul and Jacob actually just finished their um, big tortoise enclosure and they had no clue. They were like asking why I was buying stuff and because I went with them to get like a bunch of supplies for their tortoise enclosure. And then I left and went by myself and got this stuff. And they were like wondering why I had it. And I just kept making up lies and stuff and like that. But now they're done. So we're gonna go inside. They're chilling inside and we're gonna go surprise them. Let's go get Paul. Paul. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Come on. Got a little surprise for you, okay? All right. Something I told you 
Oh, it's gonna give you for a while now. A goat? No. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> that's soon. That's. <laughs> but uh, no. You gotta guess what's in here. It could be anything. Yeah, you probably are. Let's just see. A little right. tortoise. Yep. Oh, Wait, is that the one I gave you? Oh, no. Blake gave you? Yeah, this is him. Oh my god. He's gotten big, right? He's got huge. Wow, this is actually really cool. Yeah. Thanks for uh, making a hole in my grass. Yeah, you're welcome. I appreciate it. It looks really good. A little dome here. Yep. Water dish, food dish. A little house. What's his name? Henry? Um, that's up to you. We never had a name. I almost just choked on my Sprite. I'm going to name him Sprite. Sprite? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Look at this little guy. Sprite. What up, Sprite? How you doing? And then tell them about your other, other enclosure that you're Oh, yeah. Doing. So that's why I have the camera in my hand. We're actually building an enclosure for a larger one of these. This is a Socata tortoise. So there's a future when he gets big. Future. This is where he's going to be. Here, let's go check it out. This is cool, though. Good job, man. Yeah. Congratulations on surprising me for the first time in your life. Actually, usually, like the 10th time. Yeah, usually you fail, though. Actually, like the 10th like time. Like when you crash my car on my truck. <laughs> what do you mean I failed? All right, guys. What's up? So today, Paul's actually in the shower right now. Me and Daniel are gonna pretend we crashed his car. We're gonna like place it in the woods, kind of, and make it look like we hit a tree or something. He isn't gonna know. And it. we're gonna say Daniel did it because Daniel actually doesn't have his license, so it's gonna make it more believable. So yeah, we're gonna get Paul's truck. I'm gonna go ask him right now. Can we take your truck to Publix to get some food? I guess, fine. We got the keys, and we're going in. You ready, Daniel? Ah, uh, sure. You crashed Paul's car. Yep, I crashed. We're gonna place the truck in the bushes and make it look like Daniel hit a tree. Then we're gonna give Paul a call and um, tell him Daniel crashed his car, his truck. And we'll see how that works out. See how this looks. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, yep, it looks like Daniel crashed into the trees. <laughs> yes, put like the tire, like right there. I would just leave it right there, like on the floor. Like that. So it looks like he comes up and he just sees like, and it looks like the tire came off. All right, we're calling Paul right now. Hello? Hey, Paul. Yeah. Daniel, I we went down to the dirt road just to do some donuts and stuff. And um, I let Daniel try because like, you know, he doesn't have his license and I thought it would just be safe because there's not a lot of cars around. And um, he like lost control of the car and um, like crashed it into a tree. What do you, why would you bring, dude, the man doesn't even have a license. I would just just grab my keys are on the counter and come up here, please. Right. We'll figure oh, out a way bro. to pay for this. Oh, he's p Gotta he go! Is pissed. Gotta go! Gotta he's go. pissed! He was driving, obviously you know this is a dirt road. He lost control and went into the thing. It, he doesn't, bro, he doesn't have his license. It was my mistake for letting him drive, okay? And I just thought it was safe because you know no one drives on this road, bro. That man sucks at driving. He's doing hard on the phone with his mom. Let me see you real quick. Hey bud, you just got pranked. I was looking at the tire going, that's not even my tire. <laughs> a, a massive Sokata tortoise enclosure. Well, it's part done, partly. Part done, there's gonna be two of them, so you can see we have already started the second one. Oh, there's one. two of them? Yeah, yeah. Just, okay. We decided to go with making like the second pull over here. But first one's pretty much done. I gotta yeah, go you guys did got a lot of progress done okay. since I last saw I gotta it, wow. Do one more piece of wood up. Cut these down, um, make a little house in the corner with a heating lamp. A lot of stuff, but yeah. it's getting there. It's, and yeah. what, you're getting it's three great. of them or one? I'm one just right now. One? But I'm sure we'll get a lot more in the future from people yeah. that don't want them, so. Dope, dope. Mm -hmm. Nice enclosure, boys. For the Cheers. boys? For the Sprite. For the boys. For the boys. For the boys. <laughs> How you doing? And that is all we got for you guys today. We got a little Salcata tortoise somewhere in here. Oh, he's right there. Right here. He's got his new home. Paul was very stoked with him. And he's gonna live in here for probably till he's like that big and then he'll get transferred over to the bigger enclosures But anyways guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe down below join the family And with that being said, we'll see you in the next one. See you